Three years ago, I put out my first pedal video. It's my most viewed video to date, and to be honest, I wasn't much of a guitar player back then. I was using video magic to distract you all from my terrible playing. But I was just finding my way, as they say. I'd only just started in my journey. But now, three years on, and many, many pedal videos later, and a lot more experience as a guitar player, what do I think of the Mosky Golden Horse now? It's not all great news. This is quite a legendary little overdrive on the internet. Made quite a name for itself. Simple controls on it and a compact size. And when I first reviewed it, I was really impressed, but I had nothing to compare it to. Although I did later compare it to the Cheriotone Centura, and it held up really well in that video. I thought so anyway. So what's it like today and do I still rate it? Well, let's answer that question. I'm playing my Fender, made in Mexico 50s road-worn strap with Porter S90 pickups, then my Ibanez AS73 with Porter P90 pickups. simple controls on it, treble, output and gain. I'll put my preferred settings on the screen for you and it's still got that edge of breakup sound to it and you know it's really no money at all and I think you can pick them up used now for like $20 online and there is the musky golden horse and the must lady golden horse which is what I've got, it's the same pedal and there are probably others out there as well that just use this white label idea and then rebrand it. <laughs> killer for no money the tone is there and it's got that clon sound which it sets out to emulate and then setting the amp to the edge of breakup brings out the best in this little pedal <laughs> on my pedal anyway. When I was preparing to make the video, the little mosky was being a bit erratic, it was a little bit sick. The jack connections wouldn't hold the jack plugs and the power socket was a bit iffy. So I dissected it and it's a bit of a pain because it's a mini pedal and there's so much packed into it. And I adjusted the jacks, sorted out the power and then revived it. And I got through the video, but only just. It was cutting out power wise and I had to tap it to get it back on again. And then there was some buzzing and cracking. So it's fair to say that after three years, 
I've got to say goodbye to my little old friend. Having said that though, I'd still buy another one. But what did you think? Do you think it's still worth a go? Cheers. Display purposes only.